that news in which they make a hero into a villain, in which they'll benefit, you have to check up. So here when we see that these normally bomb blast figures that you get, most of them that you find will be somewhat similar. If it's a government channel of the country in which the bomb blasts are taking place, the figure will be normally no. Why? Because the government wants to show that less people have been killed. Like the police commissioner wrote to me, 187 people killed. Newspaper writes 207. I don't know who's right. I'm not saying that Commissioner A.N. Roy is lying. I'm not saying that. Please don't get me wrong. So here we have to realize that when we get information, we have to see the proof. When we see the proof about Osama bin Laden, even on the channel, it is mentioned prime suspect, sister. Prime suspect. Prime suspect. Do you know, if you go to the website of the U.S. Department of Justice, Info Police, they give the list of the terrorist organizations. Terrorist organizations. 43, 60% are Muslim. Can you guess which is the most popular terrorist organization? Can you guess Muslim terrorist organization? Can you guess? No, sorry. Which is the most popular Muslim terrorist organization? Al-Qaeda. Al you don't get a prize for that. Very easy. <laughs> Al-Qaeda. According to the U.S. Department, you know how many attacks? How many attacks? Ulfa, 749 attacks. Al-Qaeda, only 28. Out of that, 26 alleged, two Al-Qaeda claims they did it. According to the site of U.S. Department of Justice, Al-Qaeda claims, all alleged, not a single proved. Even on the official site of U.S. Department of Justice, not a single attack of Al-Qaeda has been proved. I'm not here to support Al-Qaeda. You know, when Yohan Redley went to Afghanistan, she was arrested by the Taliban. She comes back and she's asked the question, what are your views about Al-Qaeda? She replies, I doubt whether Al-Qaeda exists. <laughs> so sister, what I'm trying to tell you, that when we get the information, if you are a man of the media or a person of the media, you can realize and you know that this information mostly will be correct. This has to be checked up. So what we have to realize that it is suspect, prime suspect, prime suspect. Even on CNN and BBC, even though they say it's a prime suspect, they're treating him as though he's a culprit. Can you go and kill thousands of Afghans only because of a prime suspect? Not even proved. So, but natural sister, when we hear the news, we have to realize that who controls the news, what is the agenda behind, and then we have to be careful what news you take and what you quote. Hope that answers the question, sister. A non-Muslim brother? Uh, the question has been put forward by my non-Muslim friend. Okay, we'll allow that. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Myself, Saif, and I am a management student. Uh, the question is that, uh, do you think that uh, Muslims uh, feel insecurity, and that's why can we say that uh, terrorism is its outcome? Thank you, sir. Your comment, please. The brother has the question that, do Muslims feel insecure? And that is the reason terrorist acts are done. I told in my talk the main root cause of terrorism is injustice. It's not insecurity. Insecurity may be part of it, but the main cause is injustice. Injustice and something wrong done to a group of people. If you read an article that came yesterday on Sunday middle, on the eve of the 9-11, one of the very famous persons, name is William, he writes and he gives advice that the root cause is injustice and wrong done to community. And he agrees with the Bombay authorities that there are possibilities that Kashmiris may have done bomb blasts in Bombay, but he says, what is the cause? According to him, the Kashmiris are unmilitant people. They are peace-loving people, so what has forced them to fight? And he gives his view, it is because of democracy which is forged. He says that, not me, eh? it's not my comments. Person who is an expert and he gives advice to people in the world. He says that the democracy is forged. It is manipulated. That's the reason what we find that they're fighting. Same in Palestine. They're fighting because the rights are taken away. So the main cause of terrorism is injustice done to a group or any wrong done. So to get their rights back, this gives rise to a fight, to a retaliation, which is called terrorism by people opposing it. Those who agree with it, they call good. For example, Bhagat Singh. He fought for the freedom of the country. By the British, he was called terrorist. We call him freedom fighter. So depending upon what is the background, therefore, before you give a label of terrorist, therefore, I said terrorism has got different meanings, has got different definitions. It changes because of geographical definition. It changes because of history. So the same person who's called a terrorist by British government, we Indians called him a freedom fighter. So like that, 
We have to find out the main cause is injustice done to a group of people. I'll ask a question from non-Muslim brother on the slip. It's Christopher Lobo asks, how can you prove that 9-11 was an inside job? Brother Lobo has asked that how can I prove 9-11 was an inside job? I've got the proofs. I can repeat the proof. It has been proven by other people. Just a few days back, there was an article that came in the newspaper that 75 professors of US, they say, they believe that 9-11 was an inside job. And in the article, it was mentioned, it came in Times of India, I think on the 7th of September. It says that 75 professors and scientists belonging to different universities from different parts of US, they believe that 9-11 was inside job. And they say that there were some politicians in White House who have engineered the destruction of the Twin Towers. And they say the main reason was so that they could attack and they could have control of the oil-rich countries. Open secret, I told you. One of the professors by the name of Steve Jones, he says that we do not believe that 19 hijackers and a few men in the cave in Afghanistan could have done such a professional job alone. They could not have done it. We don't believe. And by God, we are going to come to the truth and we are going to expose. We don't believe in the theory of the government. They don't believe in the theory of the government. And he further goes on to say that we as being professors and scientists, we know that the steel beam of the Twin Towers, they couldn't have melted at the temperature at which the jet fuel was there. And there were systematic bomb explosions which caused this to come down. Otherwise, it cannot come down. There are many tapes. There are many books written against it. I happen to watch many of them. I even happened to watch the video recording of this Professor Steve Jones. And yesterday's paper, we got another news. Three days later, Professor Steve Jones sent on a paid leave. <laughs> Imagine, paid leave. There are many tapes. If you happen to watch one of the tapes by the name of Loose Change 9-11, it was done by a young American of 21 years old. He makes a one-hour documentary. There are many, many are there. This 9-11 documentary, it has collected clips from the various, of CNN, of Fox Channel, all the news clipping, he took interviews, etc., and made a one-hour documentary. And then he says, that people who saw the airplane, they said it cannot be a passenger carrier. It looked like a military plane. It didn't have any windows. And when he shows the shooting, when it comes close to the tower, there's another firing done from the wings, which hits the twin tower before the plane. Then further he goes on to prove, he says that he had statements of the management, the construction company, which had constructed the twin tower. They said, it's impossible. The twin tower made to withstand storm, to withstand tornado. This plane cannot knock it down. And it cannot come down because the fuel burns at 1,000 degrees temperature. This, even for 2,000 degrees temperature, for hours, nothing will happen to it. Ten days later, he changes the statement and said, no, it's possible. Jet fuel can cause damage to the beams. Another professor who gave the statement, he didn't withdraw his statement back, so he was sacked. <laughs> Furthermore, what they did, that in the documentary they show that when the Twin Towers came down, like how you willfully get down any building. And he gave statistics that many buildings in New York, tall skyscrapers, 40 floors, 60 floors, they caught fire for many hours, but none of them came down. It is the first building in the history of USA. It has come down that way. And he showed photographs that when building it deliberately brought down, how do they get down by the explosion? The same way it came down. There was systematic bomb blast. And people who went to rescue, whether it be the firemen, they were interviewed, they said that we were thinking that someone up was pressing the bomb button. And the bombs were going out, boom, boom, boom. So how the twin towers come down? They have given proof. Furthermore, they say that all the proof given by the government, they analyzed. They said 19 hijackers, some of them, they were trained as 